second day on the job. Just talk us through your first impressions of the club. Our first impressions were actually before I started. It was on the phone with Cameron Joyce and Brad Scott um, doing the interview for the role. I was on the road at the time, so it was all over the phone. Um, and getting off the phone after speaking to them, it was just like, this is a club that I can see myself being a part of, um, particularly talking with, with Brad. Just found myself getting along with him really well. From that point on, I was pretty excited about the role and pretty hopeful that I'd be appointed. You've got quite an interesting role at the club. Can you just talk us through what that job looks like? Yeah, so I've been appointed in a development role, so working with a lot of the one to four year players um, and pretty closely with uh, the forwards in that category, as well as also playing in the VFL myself. So it's uh, pretty handy from my point of view, being able to develop my craft as a coach, but then also implement it out in the ground as well with, with the younger guys and be on the field to talk them through it and run them through things at times. So pretty excited. I'm sure at Hawthorne you would have had quite of a coaching role towards the end of your time. Is it easy sort of distinguishing yourself as a teammate and a coach? or do they overlap? Um, I think it'll be a bit different being a coach now and trying to um, at times pick when you, you are a mate and when you have to be a coach and give some you know some hard feedback, I guess. But um, in the last 12 months at the Hawks, my role was pretty similar to what I'm doing here at, at North. So albeit the titles um, you know, above my name now as a coach, the last 12 months I've, I've played that role at VFL level with Box Hill and developing the younger guys. So it's not gonna change too much. It just means I've got to get used to working a computer and putting keynotes together and things like that and, and taking meetings. So um, it's all all up in the air at the moment, but pretty excited to get started. And just, you know, seeing the young guys out on the track like Jai Simk and Paula Hearn, what are your impressions of them early days? Well, yeah, yesterday, Monday was the first session that I sort of uh, got to watch. And I'll tell you what, it was pretty good sitting on the other side of all the running and all that, the hard work. But... Um, yeah, they certainly didn't hold back yesterday. Pretty physical, they were straight into it. Um, there's certainly a lot of guys there that have got some really good talent and I'm looking forward to being able to work with them and develop them as players and, um, you know, mental side of the game, their skills, attributes and all that. So, um, yeah, first impressions are really good and it's got me excited about, you know, where they could go in the next 12 months. I'm sure those young guys are in a great position because they not only have yourself but also Boomer. I think you two are going to work quite closely together. Have you spoken to Boomer much about the role or had much to do with him? Yeah, so obviously had a, a bit to do with Boomer over the years, but sitting down with him talking this morning and picking his brain a little bit about how he goes about things, what his role is, um, what he's trying to work on with players, it's uh, that's been really, really beneficial for me. So I'm looking forward to working with him um, in that role and, um, you know, putting our heads together and coming up with some pretty good plans for these younger kids coming through and helping them develop.